special night here at the ballpark St. Louis native John Goodman went around the track throughout the first pitch and now he gets a chance to visit with Jim Hayes Jimmy what a treat for him uh, Afton High School proud John Goodman now you're back what's it like being back it's uh, they ran me out of the state about 10 years ago for cook violations of the wrestling code but I'm back I'm looking for Mike Shannon tonight we're going to go to it he's over there you, uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you're ducking me Shannon you threw out the first pitch you know you're a star because Wainwright caught it. Yeah. But I imagine it's uh, it's easy for you because you did play the babe after all. That was my left my left hand. Uh, I had to learn how to pitch left handed. I didn't pitch very well, but I pitched. But I found out later he was sidearm. I was do I did the whole thing for nothing. I should have. Anyway, nobody cares. I do. No. And you look great. Thanks. You've you've done so many things you can't even list them all. You know you, you think of Roseanne, Big Lebowski, Monsters Inc. Your new one, Ten Cloverfield Lane, which scared the the Jesus out of me right now I'm scared of you because of that do you have a favorite uh, I just because everybody else likes it and I had so much fun doing it the big Lebowski uh, probably my favorite movie but um, I mean there's so I've been so lucky and uh, gotten to work so long that it's something special in all of them big Lebowski though that thing has a cult following that never dies down it seems it may be as big now as it was back in the day I think bigger because I think it's stiffed when it came out <laughs> so uh, yeah we, we've been lucky with that one the uh, the fact that you were a Cardinal fan and you still are a Cardinal fan and you were almost insulted if I ask if you still follow the Cardinals right yeah I uh, thanks to the miracle of technology I get to watch you guys uh, yeah, if I'm in Los Angeles, practically every night or New Orleans, uh, I'll turn the game on. My wife, I think I'm uh, slowly turning into her into a Cardinals fan. Uh, it's just great. Yeah, I can even watch it on my telephone. What uh, What do you make of uh, this year's Cardinals team? I'm going to test you right now. They're gonna um, They're gonna be steady. They're gonna hold. They need to win at home more. I know that, but uh, I think slow and steady and. You know, build up the momentum because the the Cubs will slide in late September. I'm with you. Yeah. How often do you get to come back to St. Louis? Not often enough, man. I uh, I was here last year in October for a buddy of mine's charity golf tournament, and then last year before that, but not often enough. I need to get back here more. You've had a, a wonderful career in acting, performing, but maybe a professional football player. You were going to play football at Missouri State, right? But an injury got in the way. Yeah, that's a great story, but it's not true. I stunk. I tried to walk on the football team. I didn't have the grades to play football. I uh, puttered around in the fraternity for a year, and then I, I got into the uh, drama department, and there were more girls in the drama department than there were on a football team. So. It worked out nicely yeah, it worked for you. Out. I want to ask you about the new one, 10 Cloverfield Lane, because that movie started freaking me out and it ended freaking me out and with you in between it freaked me out. How do you do that. How do you go from a role that's so intense. Well you're you're playing not a little slice of crazy but a big slice of crazy to being a normal everyday guy. I just brought out my inner loon. So it's, you know high school. Is it always there. Yeah high school class clown stuff and I get they pay me for it. I got to shoot it in New Orleans so that was great. But you know they put these little lines on a page called lines. And you read those and that's pretty much it. But you also have to memorize it and then you have to be it. What I do is like there's a teleprompter or yeah. someone tells me a stat and I say it like I'm smart. If there's I a difference. Could, if I could have a teleprompter I'd, then I'd be happy. How much fun was it being out there. The crowd gives you a good ovation. You got a bobblehead. I might remember it like a month from now because I'm in shock right now. It's so much fun. It's so great to be here. Uh, it's an honor I don't deserve but I'll take it anyway. No, it's an honor well deserved. Welcome home and thanks for spending oh, a little time with it's us. It's my pleasure and I'll, I'll see you tomorrow night somewhere probably. OK and I can stop being nervous now right. Yeah. All right. I'm going to stop being nervous oh, I'll now. I'll be nervous. John Goodman. <laughs> Dan. Great stuff with John Goodman. Amazing how Jim just ties the broadcast together. Yes he does. He?